What's up, y'all? It's Jay Global. I'm here with amateur boxer Giovanni Bennett. Giovanni, what's up, bro? What's up, man? Man, how you feel? Man, good. You already know. Man, all right. So, tell us a little bit about yourself, man. Where you from? Joliet, Illinois. Shoot, 815. Okay, okay. True, true. How old are you? 19. 19. What gym you box out of? Sam Colonna. But we finna get our own gym called Championship Boxing Club. Uh, where that's gonna be at? Out of Joliet. We're gonna have our own team. We ain't gonna have no gym yet, but you know, the name gonna ring. Now, is this gonna be a private gym or is like anybody welcome? Uh, it's like a public, it's like a, uh, I guess you could say private because we only gonna ask for a certain amount of people, you know, family type stuff, you know. But, um, shoot, it's, it's gonna be open to all fighters if they want to it, you know. It's gonna be more like a brotherhood. It ain't gonna be like no team. It's going to be just a bunch of fighters supporting each other, trying to put each other on. Well, when you plan on having that gym up and ready? Uh, January, well, it's not a gym, but the team, January 1st, because uh, you got to renew December 1st through um, January for the whole year. So I was just really waiting until the new year come. Okay. T tell us a little bit about Sam, man. How how's it like? <laughs> how's it like training with Sam, man? I, I got to meet him a couple of times, you know. He cool, you know what I'm saying? But he, he old school, though. You know, he, uh, he, he'll tell you how bad you want it, you know? It ain't, he ain't gonna, he ain't gonna push you farther than you want to go. And he ain't gonna short, he, gonna, he ain't gonna uh, let you cheat yourself, but he gonna be there through the whole ride, though. Okay, okay, man. Yeah, he, he a good dude, man. I yeah. like him. All right, how long have you been boxing? Uh, really my whole life. It's like a family thing, you know? My uh, dad did it. My granddaddy, he used to box on, on the team with Muhammad Ali. I don't, I don't think he went pro though, but like he in the Hall of Fame in Joliet. Uh, you can go downtown, you can see him on the wall. But like really, he big in the amateurs. You know what I'm saying? He fought different countries and all that stuff. So that's that's what made you start boxing. Shoot, I don't know. I just I, I feel like I just woke up in the gym, bro. Like I just woke up in the. But now nah, they they don't make me box because. You know, you got to do it yourself. It's not, because I, I started rapping, I started hooping. I liked it, but I, it ain't nothing like boxing to me. Ain't nothing like boxing. Uh, uh, what's your amateur record? Shoot, man. That's a blur to me, but right now it's 6-2 and two since I came back, since 2018. This is my first fight, the uh, Junior Olympics. I had won that. I was first in the state. I don't know if y'all want to see that. This was my first fight back in 2018. Um, since then, I only had two losses, though. Okay. Who would you say has been your hardest fight since you returned back to boxing? None of them, oh, bro. My hardest fight was myself, to be honest. I had came back for the second time uh, to fight the King of the Jungle. I had um, I had fought Kyron Brown. He was uh, the Golden Glove champ. You know what I'm saying? I had, uh, I feel like I cheated myself. I cut weight too quick. And I got in there. I couldn't do what I wanted to do. <sighs> with nobody, though. I, I ain't felt nothing with nobody. Not yet. And you talking about Kyrie out of Oakley? Yeah, man. I, I should have. Man, he be tweaking. Huh? And, he, and he won. But, you know, you know. So... Was that your first or your second loss? Cause you said it was. That was my second. Was my second. first. I had came back. It was a private show. Um, he he was taller than me. He was longer. I was cheating myself again. I don't know, but I caught him in the gym, and it was different. It was it was, it was none of that. Caught him in the gym. I had to put it on him. Man, it's Christopher Gooch though. He know who he is though. We already be talking about it. All right, I see you got another belt with you. Tell us a little bit about that one. I had one. This one I was a shorty. It was a ringside belt. This is uh when I was ten years old. I had fought. It was my dad there and a couple other fighters. I was I was ten. Uh, it was like seven fights. It was my first belt. My first one. Twenty twenty though. I'm taking them all though. I ain't gonna play. 
So you got any fights scheduled as of now uh, for 2020? January 25th, I'm fighting in Chicago at um, St. Ignatius College, I think, I want to say. But that's a private show. Uh, that's going to be on Facebook Live at Giovanni Bennett. Um, other than that, it's going to be like the 31st. I'm, at, I'm, I'm basically fighting three times a month all year. And everybody on 152. Three times in one month. Tell, tell us a little bit about that. Like, is that like a lot on boxers to do three, three fights in one, in one month? Yeah, because you gotta watch what you eat. You gotta train right. You gotta stay focused. You gotta stay away from distractions. You know, um, man. Really, you gotta stay focused the whole, the whole yard. To be honest, and then you gotta worry about your family, working, and all that stuff. So. Uh, you got to schedule right. Oh, uh, what what, are, what is your preparation to get ready for a fight? Um, really, I, I don't can't I can't kick it. Um, stay in the gym, run when I wake up. Twenty push ups when you wake up before you go to sleep. Uh, one like three times a day in the gym, sparring every day. Uh. It'd be like, it's gonna be like that for the rest of the years. It's like a, it's like a daily routine. It ain't even no training camp with me in the amateurs. It's just like a daily routine all year. Uh, what would you say is like the hardest part about being a boxer? Food. You can't eat nothing. Either. You, you gotta make weight. You gotta be on weight. You can't eat nothing. You can't do nothing. To be honest, I think it's the food though. Oh. Um. Like, what's, like, your weight difference? Because I, I know, like, you guys don't walk around at the same weight that you fight at. So, like, what's your walk-around weight? 152. What's your fight weight? Uh, I fight at, one, well, no, I walk around at one, 157, you know, but I fight at 152. And how long do it normally take to cut the, what, about five pounds? Uh, I cut five pounds in like two days, but normally you're supposed to only cut like a pound a week, to be honest. But that's the healthy way, you know. You gotta cheat sometimes. <laughs> so, now, what what can we expect from you in 2020? 2020, January 25th, I'm starting out with a knockout. Um, I'm not playing this year. Ain't no take nothing nice for nobody. Uh, it's either you get in the gym or you get out of the way. That's period. Uh, you got like any round that you go knock him out in? You call him uh, now. I, I so. can't. I can't say that. I ain't gonna say it like that. But I mean, whenever the ref stop it or I stop it, it's gonna be stopped regardless. Shoot, it ain't gonna go to the judges. I got cheated on my last fight. I ain't gonna cheat again, bro. It's how bad you want it, cause I want it bad for real. What you mean you got cheated at your last fight? Man, I feel like. I feel like I, I feel like I could have did more punching, okay, but my punches were cleaner. I'm talking about you can see him clear as day. I'm blocking his punches. He not he, he wasn't doing nothing completely. And then the whole crowd was telling me I won. And then they said him. I'm talking about. I, and who was your last fight against? Uh, that wasn't my last fight. Uh, I don't even know his name to be honest. I got it on the scoreboard. But I don't, I don't know his name, to be honest. Do you know who you fight in January 25th? Nah, coach ain't telling me that shit. So he know, but you don't know? Yeah, nah, he ain't telling me that shit. Why don't he tell you? Uh, I don't think he got it set right now, you know. He asked me for a picture, but I, I, don't, I don't think he got it set yet. Because some teams go back and check you out, and then they be like, oh, no, I don't want to fight, you know what I'm saying? You got to find somebody that's firm that's going to really fight and be there. Do you plan on turning pro or is this just like something you go do just like? After Golden Gloves, I'm going a, I'm to a take that little Golden Glove belt. I'm going to sit back. I'm going to analyze for the year for like the USA Boxing Tournament in the Western and Eastern. And um, If I decide to go, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go all the way to the end of the year amateur, try to um, get ranked number one. I want to wait 2020 for the Olympics, but uh, I don't know if I want to wait that long. Because, uh, uh, 2020, that's two years. I'm going to be hot right now. So, saying how you don't know who you 
fighting against? How do you prepare for that? Uh, I look at it as like a stepping stool. Like right now, I don't know who I'm fighting. I don't know what they got. I'm just going there, proving that I'm the best I can be. So when I turn pro and all that, knowing who it is won't matter. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be another fight. Don't matter. All right, give me one of your favorite boxers from your past town and then, like, a current boxer. Um, my current boxer would be, like, Earl Spence. Um, not say Shakira Stevenson. And then my past boxer would be, like, uh, I got to go with Muhammad Ali. I ain't going to lie. Uh, I don't know. Mike Cool and all, but I don't know. I'm just more, I'm more, more Ali to me. All right, so... Between Earl Spence and Shakur, which one are you taking? Earl Spence, shoot, and the other way, lower weight or Earl uh, Shakur weight or Spence weight. I'm still taking Spence to be honest, but I don't know. Shakur get older though, he gonna get stronger. He gonna be more, more. I don't know, better for it. Any amateur boxer you look forward to fighting to before your time up being an amateur? No, uh, ain't uh, all, all the people I'm looking for, they looking to turn pro. They trying to pro this year, so I, I'm gonna see them soon if they still around though. You have plans on joining the the USA team? Uh, yeah, I got plans on joining the USA team for like a year. And like I said, I want to go to the Olympics, but 2020 has two years. And I don't know, that's too far. I feel like I, I need it now. I'm hungry now, you know. How do you get on the USA team? Uh. You got to fight out in the Western or Eastern qualifiers. It's a tournament in um, California. And then one of them will be in Ohio, I want to say. Um, you win Eastern or the Western, and then you go to the finals. You're going to see the, the top people, the top number one people of the country, or shoot, the, the, whoever won that tournament in the Eastern or Western. And the top uh, two going to fight. Shoot, and then whoever wins goes to the USA team. All right, so help help me set the record straight for a lot of people out here. So a lot of people say, oh, amateur boxers can't fight nobody out in the streets because they hands registered and they go to jail. Uh, can you touch on that a little bit? Like, how does that work? I don't know. I ain't going gonna, gonna to say you're going to go to jail. But, I mean, I, I, I've had a friend fighters that – got put in the newspaper and I think they they, they charged one up for fighting so yeah that's something serious you can't fight in the streets. But um fighter amateur fighters fighting pros uh, it's normal. Uh shoot a pro can be uh, worse than an amateur. An amateur can be better than a pro. It's just whoever you're looking at, it's the person, the individual. It's not really the the name. The name don't really do nothing. You gotta really stand on what you believe in. You a better amateur fighter than you a better amateur fighter. I don't fought pros and, and if we fought for real, I would smoke them, smoke them. That's all I'm gonna say. Now I'm gonna put you on blast. Can you name any of those fighters? Ah, nah, I ain't gonna do it like that. Mm -hmm. They cool people. They cool people. They they ain't no big names, you know. They just try to climb the rankings, but uh, even big people with decent names, they same thing. I ain't gonna say too much though. So uh, have you trained with any um professional boxers? Yeah, uh I when I first came back, my homie uh Dewan Johnson, he uh he got a belt, I can't remember, but he uh, he got an intern belt or something like that. Uh Mikey Dahlman, he got him an intern belt. Um Let me see who else. Uh those are really the most people I'm cool with, but you got um, Freddie Bowen. He I met Freddie. I, yeah. I like Freddie. He cool people. Yeah, Freddie, he cool. He teach at the block, you know, boxing around Chicago, helping the youth. Um, he a good amateur fighter coming up. Um, Martez McGregor, uh, he a good heavyweight. I think he ranked between, like, 1 and 10. I ain't got no work on him, but I got some tips. Um... Chris Williams, that's my homie. And then shout out to Alex Marcus. He taught me when I was a kid. Right now he in New York. Uh, I'm gonna try to go out of camp with camp out there in New York with him too soon. But he a good he a good southpaw. He climbing up the ranks. Can't forget about no fighters just because they took a loss. 
Now, what, what are you? Are you Southpaw or Orthodox? Orthodox. Yeah. So I fight with my left hand first and my right hand back. Uh, now, is it harder to go against Southpaw or Orthodox? My last fight, I think he was Southpaw. I think he tried to switch up on me, but he was Southpaw. Um, it ain't harder. I feel like, I feel like it's kind of easier, you know what I'm saying? Because you got opposite punches. With Orthodox and the Orthodox, we throwing the same punches. So I throw a jab, he throw a jab, throw the same punch. I think I like fighting Southpaws. Uh, when you turn pro, how long would you want to be a pro for? Like, do you have like a certain time frame before you be like, all right, I'm gonna hang it up? Yeah, I, probably I'm gonna let my body tell me. But if you ask me right now, I'm gonna hang it up at like 45, 45, maybe, depending on how I go. You know. Now you said uh, you go let your body tell you. Now elaborate on that a little bit. Cause like boxing, we're tearing your body. Like the more you fight, the more you work out, it, it, like it, it, it tear your body, your tissue. You know what I'm saying? You gotta recover from that. And you getting old, you hit what 50 or 60 or something. Shoot, you ain't gonna be able to move how you wanna move. Your body not gonna re uh, repair itself as fast as when you 20, 21. So whenever that, whenever that, uh, when that age hit, that's when I'ma quit. But I'ma give it like 40, 45. What's the what's your biggest fear about boxing if you have any? Um sure, my brother always told me never be afraid to be great. So I ain't really got no fear, but if I tell if I got if I got a fear, I'm gonna say shoot, not getting rich. Cause I ain't worried about nobody. Shoot, not getting rich, not being comfortable. You know. I uh, um tell us a little about your um your outbreak champions movement that you got going on. Uh it's it's something I had, I don't know. I just I just was hitting a bag one day and came up with something I always wanted to be different. And I don't know, I just feel like it, it fit me. I started saying it and I just started thinking about it like, damn, I really do I really do break them, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's in the body Man, I, or a shoe, I got a knockdown before, you know what I'm saying? It's just, I break champions, I don't know, bro. They gonna get, ah, I don't know about that one. All right, man, I definitely salute y'all because it take a lot of heart to do what y'all do. Like, combat sports is a lot different yeah. from basketball and football and things like that. So, I definitely salute y'all. Appreciate it. All right, anything you want to tell the people before we get up out of here? Uh, man, add me on Facebook and Instagram at Giovanni Bennett. All the fights will be uploaded. Uh, January 25th, that's my birthday, but it's also the private fight. Check it out. Um, shout out my brother Gambino. Go ahead and search him. We got that feature with NLA Chopper. Uh, man, we cooking. Just stay in tune, for real.